it's about 39 years since HIV AIDS hit the country. The infection that was first reported as a strange disease around 1982 in Lukaya has impacted all classes of people in varying degrees. In the early 1980s and 90s, many Ugandans suspected the virus to be witchcraft and thus resorted to consumption of herbs and other concoctions until government mobilized against the pandemic. Uganda AIDS Commission has achieved a number of milestones in the fight against the pandemic by putting in place interventions, namely public sensitization, reducing mother-to-child transmission, veiling ARVs, and an amiable environment. By the end of December 2020, Uganda was able to achieve the 1990 and are ranked among the eight countries globally that registered progress. We were among, there were a few countries globally that we were able to meet that, eight of them, and we were among those eight countries. So we've registered some progress, but we also have quite some work to do. The Director General Uganda AIDS Commission, Dr. Nelson Musoba, says that an estimated 1.4 million Ugandans are living with HIV AIDS virus, translating into 5.4%, a slight reduction from the previous 6.2% in 2016, with at least 1.2% on treatment. Uh, there is an ongoing uh, population-based survey by the Ministry of Health, but from our previous estimations, we don't think the results will be far different. So this, is, this shows a reduction from previously 6.2% uh, that was, uh, that was uh, computed, that was found in 2016 by the Ministry of Health. Of the new infections recorded, 14,000 of those were young people between 14 and 24 years. But, um, the, the prevalence is, is, uh, is uh, the new infections are tipped very huge proportion amongst young people of that age group, but also uh, disproportionately higher even amongst the females. Uganda AIDS Commission also estimated that about 22,000 AIDS related deaths occurred in 2020, a slight increase from the previous year where 21,000 reportedly died. And uh, also, a slight, uh, the, the HIV infections amongst children below 14 years was about 5,300, which, which is something that shouldn't happen because we know if there is an HIV pregnant mother and she attends antenatal in a timely manner, follows instructions of the health worker and swallows her medicine, delivers with a, uh, within uh, trained, skilled hands, and follows the instruction after that for postnatal you can prevent your child from getting HIV. Children born with HIV AIDS reduced from 25,000 between 2012 and 2013 to less than 3,000. We should have wrapped this up. No child should be born in Uganda with HIV. The data clerk at the AIDS Information Center Chisenyi, Nablo Claire, attributes the increase in the cases, especially between 2019 and 2020, to the first lockdown. Say, for example, uh, uh, the sex workers here in Chisenyi, yeah? the vulnerable adolescents, you could not reach them with the health information, how to protect themselves from getting HIV, um, commodities, you could not supply the condoms. Why? Because we're all under lockdown. Dr. Nelson Musoba says the Minister of Health was able to establish the period in which the pregnancies were conceived, coming out with a 13% figure, some of which were conceived within the period of six months. Unprotected uh, uh, sex. We've not segmented in that data, uh, you know, how many of those uh, infections were within the COVID period, but we know certainly, like you've said, the proportion of them were as a result of COVID because the children at home, if we use pregnancy as a proxy, uh, a good number of those uh, are, are attributable to, to COVID. -19. Dr. Watiti says that although HIV AIDS related deaths have reduced, there is, however, a weekly infection of about 1,000 persons. I mean, you'll notice it's mainly adolescent girls and young women. Now, there are many dynamics. These are vulnerable people. You'll, not, you'll find, for example, a young girl dating or having sex with an older man, including a person of my age. You can see them having sexual relations with young girls. Not that they want to marry them. About two decades ago, an HIV-AIDS patient 
would swallow 17 tablets per day, meaning in a week one would swallow 119 tablets, 510 tablets a month, and 6,205 tablets a year, turning the body into a cocktail of drugs. I had nasty side effects. I experienced them. They are talking about long-acting ARVs, which can be given as injections. Currently, the Joint Clinical Research Center is conducting research aimed at endorsing injectable drug to save Ugandans from the stress of swallowing tablets. Vaccine trials have not been as uh, successful and as quick as it was for COVID, for instance. And the main reason is the complexity of the HIV virus. The HIV virus is very complex. It mutates very, very highly all the time. And uh, all the trials that have happened so far, the efficacious levels are too low to subject them to, to you know, before a virus is brought. As Uganda commemorates World AIDS Day under the theme, End Stigma, End AIDS, End Pandemic, the memories of how a mysterious disease killed people in the early 1980s are still fresh in the minds of most Ugandans. In the 1990s, for one to have HIV AIDS was as good as a death sentence. However, Uganda government crusade against HIV AIDS and creating a conducive environment for the affected and infected reduce the lives of infection, making many people accept their situation. Uganda AIDS Commission has now come up with interventions to ensure people test and found positive are enrolled on medication. Uh, about uh, effective communication, you know, designing messages, especially targeting young people. Our uh, old APC is still working and we use it. It is very important. One is that it enables that one, the HIV positive person, to live normally, to live what we call positively and be productive, you know. If they are teachers, if they are journalists, if they are doctors, they will live a normal life, do their work. Uganda AIDS Commission was established by an act of parliament under the office of the president to ensure a focused and harmonized response towards the fight against HIV AIDS blight in Uganda. The commission is both is optimistic that the 95-95-95 target will be achieved by 2025 and by 2030 the country would hit 100% in all categories. Mutoni Helder, UBC.